here we have a typical radiator if in the event you've got no heating in this particular radiator and the other radiators are fine at the end here you'll have your temperature regulation valve it's a valve has numbers on it you need to see that, that is actually switched on ideally full on which is number five in this case to regulate the radiator you can bring the numbers down so i.e. if you've got a bedroom that you don't want so warm you can regulate it down so it will get warm but not to the same temperature as all the other rooms as the room gets warm this will slowly shut down and shut, slow the radiator flow down giving you uh, savings on your bills if the radiator is warm but you find you've got a cold spell down the bottom here that's an indication there's either a blockage or it's got sludge in that radiator in that event you'll need to call West Kent because we need to deal with that if the radiator is working fine but you find the radiator is cool at the top that's a band of cold area that's an indication that there's air in that radiator and the air needs to be removed to take the air out of the radiator you need an idle rad key put your key into the bleed point release it until you hear the air come out and when the air stops and water comes out then you know it's bleed and it should then get hot to the top if you find you've got a leak that seems to be stemming down here it's indication that this gland nut needs tightening up if you find that a leak is actually within the bulk of the radiator somewhere it means it could have a pinhole in that event you need to shut your radiator off on your temperature regulation valve by turning it so it's fully off using Either, this one has a screw on it, so if you undo that screw for use, maybe have a screw on it, may not, they may just pull off. If you undo or take that cap off, underneath there you'll find a device with a flats on it. If you use a pair of pliers or adjustable spanner, turn that until it actually stops. And that will, actually, that will stop the water coming into the radiator and it will only leak what's left in the radiator until we can come out and sort it out for you.